But so you could be exactly the same frequency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different antennas. And different antennas. And then what happens is, like on a pile-up, particularly in the evening, for instance, as the Europeans start getting louder on 40, yeah. and you're running a pile-up, you can put the vertical on my main transmit, delta loop on my right ear. So everybody can hear me on my, my vertical, signature 12.4. But then when I call QRZ, I'll generally get the Papa Alphas, the Delta Lemas, the Polish people and everything on, the vert on my left ear. And I'll hear the pile up for, from UK on my right ear because of the angle of incidence of the RF. So people, you know, in my sort of like world nowadays, which is like poaching that, people are using a lot of these base loaded coils for verticals. So the argument is they're going a higher angle. So, well, I, I don't believe that. I, I, well, I was going to say that from, from my own experience, yeah. when you just work Europe, for example, yeah, it, 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 it's not exactly right. But how well, you know, so in amongst all this world of different antennas, because you can shortcut people spending a lot of ways. Yeah, 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 that's right. Dick's commanded to one side. Cause yeah, 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 that's fine. Yeah, that we're we're the, just talking verticals and, and there's yeah, a... Yeah, so, so people would go, I'm going to go out, I'm going to stop poaching or I'm going to go to or whatever. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy, I've got 300 quid to spend. Let's yeah. Say, and I'm going to spend 300 quid. Now, there's loads of people out there who say they've sold thousands of their antennas to people and they're all very happy. Mm -hmm. But in reality, the real question we want to know is, what should we be taking? Right. If it's 40 metres you actually have a problem cocking it up. It really doesn't matter. If you throw a piece of wire over a hedge, it'll work. So that fly's still in here. <laughs> so, um, in 2013, I went to Cornwall and I low, I was out there for two weeks, plenty of time for experimentations, and I lowered a dipole from about 10 metres inverted, uh, inverted V all the way down to four feet, which is 1.2 metres off the ground, and it was getting louder and louder and louder during the day on 40. Below that, my transmit was starting to quieten off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I couldn't do that on 20 metres. Because on 40, I want my signal to go right up and back down again during the day. So that's why when people have a real problem on 40 metres during the day for that 200-mile footprint, they've got a hell of a bloody problem because they should just start again, make a dipole center out of a bit of speaker wire and throw it in a hedge. You can't, you almost can't cock it up, <laughs> right? Now for 20 and up, now sometimes you want to start getting a little bit clever because you don't want your signal going straight up. You want a little bit going out. So if you're getting half your signal going out, well, that's a bit better. So an inverted L is half your signals going out half your signal's going up. So now your 10 watts is becoming five watts that way, five watts that way. It's not quite, right? Yeah. It's blended together. And the height, like 15 meters, now you're definitely gonna want something to go out because, you know, nothing's gonna work. Now, a lot of people are into this end fed business. Now, I'm not an end fed man. You, you remember that expression, if you can, if I can hear them, I can work them, yeah. right? Well. If you extrapolate that all the way out to my Yagi at 45 feet facing long path Victor Kilo, right, I can hear them S9 plus 10. Yet on my Delta loop, I can't hear them at all. So yeah, if I can hear them, I can work them. But so therefore, how good is your antenna? Because I could put a 50 ohm resistor across the the back of it and my friend could go a mile away and i could hear him and i could work him yeah yeah but roly in new zealand gonna hear me is he right. well who can't you hear i mean i remember I, again going all the way to the top of the pile a homebrew i made years ago two element yagi for 40 meters out of four 10 meter telescopic ts come on bowls at 120 feet we borrowed this tower Late in the afternoon, daylight, I had a pile up on 40 to Indonesia. I didn't think that was possible. I've never heard that before, right? None of us do because we don't run two element yagis at 120 feet for 40 metres, right? But if you're after that long haul stuff, you've only got one option if it's for cheap, which is 10 metres of wire thrown over a tree 
and a few radials on the ground, now we can start to get a lower, lower angle. You know, your end fence and your speaker wire and all that in a hedge, poter, you'll get your 10 contacts, 20 contacts or whatever. But I suppose what it is, is that do you want to spend another five minutes putting up something that will actually really work or not? I think people do. I think right. people do, because there's enough faffing about it, isn't it? Yeah. You, know. you spend an hour the night before making sure everything's in your box or whatever else. Then you yeah. drive for an hour, don't you, or whatever. Yeah. Then you go out somewhere and people are going, oh, I, I just want to put my antenna out and it takes me two minutes or whatever else. And for another five minutes or ten minutes, you could have, I suppose really what it boils down to, if you just want to do 40 metres, then it's back to the find a hedge again. 